Hey guys, welcome to Pulse Gaming and in today's video, our first video, we are going to be playing some Plants vs Zombies and I am going to be teaching you how to win Walnut Bowling every time. So for the start, I'm just going to give you some tips. So what I do usually for the start is you wait for them to come up as close as you can. You start gathering all the walnuts, the good walnuts, so you can have them when like more zombies come. So you let them come up as close as you can and then you will start firing the walnuts at them. So we can see here I'm letting this zombie come up as close as I can then I fire the walnut down and then I move over to the next one, fire that one down and then we go over to the middle one and we fire a normal one because we want to save the explosive walnuts for when there's more zombies when we really need them. So nothing too interesting or important happens here so I'm just going to speed this up. So we're going back to normal speed now so I can give you guys a bit of advice for this one. So you want to use an explosive walnut and in the row of three you want to fire it down the middle so it kills all three of them. And then you can go back to your normal walnuts but when it's rows of three or rows of two and if there's a lot of zombies, fire the explosive walnuts down and it should kill the whole line of them. Also in my experience for the zombies with the metal helmets on them I would fire the explosive walnuts down with them because if not it would take three normal walnuts to kill them and no one wants to waste all their walnuts on that. So for the Olympic zombies the one problem with them is if you fire a walnut they jump over it. So you need to try fire two walnuts do not use an explosive on them because it will be wasted. So just fire two normal walnuts down them one so they can jump over and then one to hit them. Now here we can see a massive line of zombies, so we are going to use the explosive one right down the middle of them, it kills those three lines which is very helpful and we're just going to fire a normal one down there, just hit the Olympic one and just keep firing normal ones and save the explosive ones for the big lines. Now another bit of advice, if you hit the granny ones, the ones reading the newspaper, you'd want to fire about two of them because when you hit them once they drop the newspaper and they move really fast. So it's kind of hard if they're near the top, so I'd use an explosive one if they're close to the line, but if they're far away, just use a normal walnut and then wait for them to get closer to hit them, because you might hit a normal zombie instead of them. So this next bit isn't too interesting, so I've just got to speed it up again. So this part here, I made a mistake, I fired the walnut down into nothing, now this is the part of the game where you are running out of walnuts, like you've used all your good ones and they're just coming on the conveyor belt, you can't really see which ones are coming, so you're just going to want to fire every walnut you get, because it's getting busier, more zombies, and they're going to be getting closer to the line, so you're going to fire those walnuts down and just hope for the best pretty much. So now, thankfully, we've gotten two explosive walnuts, so we're going to fire one of them down there, get rid of that line of zombies, and we're going to save the other one for when we really need it. And we're going to fire a normal one down there, another normal one. We're kind of out of walnuts now, so it's just down to fire normal ones, whatever ones we get and just hold on to that little explosive one for when it gets really bad. So we're struggling now, more zombies with metal helmets, so we use our explosive one, get rid of them. More zombies are coming, we are near the final wave, it's gonna get bad, we are running out of walnuts. We have two explosive ones, we're gonna use one down there. We are gonna use another one there because we can't really hold on to them anymore, we just have to use what we get and we gotta hope for the best. Now, another bit of advice I would give you is with the lawnmowers. We have, how many lawnmowers is there? There is five, if I can count. And what you wanna do is you wanna keep them to the last round, when the final round, if you can. 
and hold off with the zombies just fire walnuts keep firing walnuts and you should be okay if you just keep firing them the minute you get them keep pressing a and just hope for the best so we are nearly at the final wave it's going to get hectic there's going to be zombies everywhere we have to fire at the one with the metal helmet because he is the closest and it takes about three hits to kill him so fire at the metal helmet once they're the closest but if there's like a normal one then a metal helmet just fire the metal helmet so we are at the final wave now it is going to be absolute madness so here I have no walnuts, I can't see what's coming up, I am just firing the minute they come in, I am spamming A, just spam that A button, they're like all over the line now, I am trying my best but it is really hard but you gotta just pick the ones like with no metal helmets this time, just normal zombies to get rid of them, even if you leave one line unattended that is okay because a lawnmower will take care of that but try, try your best to save the other lawnmowers but you should be good, you could even just sit back and let the zombies walk up because these are the last zombies the lawnmowers can take care of them but like, where's the fun in that now? So, we're on our last few zombies now, we can just relax, we are at the end we're gonna let the lawnmower take the ones closest to us and just knock the other ones out with walnuts so I hope this video has been helpful for you to win walnut bowling every time in Plants vs Zombies if you stick with the tips, you should win it 99% of the time so if you have enjoyed this video and would like to see more please like and subscribe